Hello and welcome to Let's Try, a series where we try new and upcoming indie games. Tonight, let's try Malmere, an upcoming uh, building sim of sorts. Today is, of course, Tuesday, December 15th, and Malmere will be released next Monday on December 21st. Now, this is, uh, the, I think the key thing to point out here is this is not an infinite builder. This is just a stage-by-stage -stage builder. So let's dive right into it. I am your host, Shatterdrift, and we are live on Twitch. Film before live studio chat. Just minus the studio. Promised Land. The king sends you to the yet unexplored lands of Malamir. Nobody knows why it has remained unexplored for decades. There is hope to bring new riches to the kingdom with the wealth of natural resources in Malamir. Since you were inexperienced in matters of colonization, the king's advisor was put at your side. You arrive in the east of the country, where a dense forest makes it difficult for you to progress. Let's start this mission and hope that it walks us through a tutorial. I plan this game you are making a dream come true. Thank you so much for your time. This is the health wiki. It is always available through the main menu at the top right corner of the in-game UI. That's actually neat that they're calling the tutorial a wiki. I really like that. We have Wazda, drag with the mouse button, left button to select stuff, interface, quick actions up top, mission information, build menu, building information. Let's, uh, yeah, so our, our camera is in the best possible position for you guys to see everything. There's nothing hidden in the lower left underneath me. Resources up top, controls upper right as per usual. Uh, jump to town center is C, pause is P, highlight buildings with alt. That's a little bit odd. First person should be with L, interesting. Upgrade with R, place road with E, set with V, pause with space, R, E, V. Which I'll forget that in about five seconds, but hopefully it walks us through it again. Sir Harold, good hint. Hello, do you get me loud and clear? It's me, Harold. We are reaching out from the kingdom. The king and the court magician are here too. I wonder what language this is being translated from, since it's obviously <laughs> obviously somebody threw something through Google Translate, as per usual. My lord, if you talk to this thing, your emissary can hear and see you. Here? Yes, finally. You arrived in Malmere. Oh, I missed the king's name. It was a long and rocky way, but you did it. Oh, okay. It's King, it's king Reinhardt Roughbeard. Uh, the M is thousands, right? The C is... Or no, the M is hundreds. Chat, somebody who remembers Roman numerals better than I do, remind me what the M's and the C's are. C is 50. So that's 62. Is that 262? 212. Or 2,112 is what game is saying. 2,112. I tried to figure out the significance of that. But wait, why is there forest everywhere? Isn't it obvious, my lord? The fool went straight east into the thickest forest. Court magician Voito Greengut. Voito? I'm not pronouncing that right. Yes, that wasn't very smart. Hey, hey, hey. I will navigate whatever forest I please. Hey, I wouldn't say it like that. The only way into the inner land is through the forest. Oh, yes, I can see it on the map. There is no other way. M is 1,000. C is 100. Okay, so it's... Okay, th thank you, Mika. M is 1,000. C is 100. L is 50. X is 10. V is 5. I is 1. <laughs> 2112 is 2112 backwards. Thank you, Richard. I never would have figured that out. Clearly the significance of it. Nevertheless, we'll lose time getting through the forest. We should build a town here. It's a good spot to connect our two lands. It seems like a good idea. After all, we can't progress right now. Let's call it Reinhard Town. What a splendid idea, my lord. This way we can make something good out of the mistakes of this fool. The magician shouldn't call you names. You did a great job getting here. Yeah, it's you to call my emissary that, and you make me look like a fool myself. I'm, how, many, how long are we going to go through this dialogue? I'm sorry, my king. This situation makes your blood pressure rise way too much. Remember to take your medicine. You are so caring, Voido. We need to get the work going. At first, you should explore some more of the region so that town can be planned out. Okay, so I have 5,000, and we just slowly... Currently, no building can be built here. Am I just going to keep... Uh... How 
how do I how do I do stuff? Do I just click on this repeatedly to make money? Start by clicking and buying tiles. Oh, I need to buy a few more. All right. Place buildings via the build menu after selecting a tile. Place buildings by sending the needed local resources. So I have to burn the nearby resources specifically or no? So the basic resources and buildings can be clicked for extra yield. Okay, so this is like a mobile game without the, the cooldown. Game, you beat Mika, but Mika also walked through the full thing. That's why I thanked both of you. Okay, we have a woodcutter's hut now. How do I... Very nicely done. We have much more overview now. Oh no, there's forest everywhere. This will slow us down even more. Our case is an advantage. We have enough wood to build a town without having to transport it too far. But we can't just build it between the trees. Why do game devs just decide to go, like, full on with dialogue? You know? I don't mind a little bit of dialogue, but we're just going on and on here. Oh, oh, this was the last one. Okay. Okay, I, I complained right at the time we were done. Perfect. No worries, chopping down some of the trees should offer enough room, but at first we should build some huts for our woodcutters. If you then sell some of the wood, you should be able to make enough money to build the town. Okay, so building overview? That's not it. Do I just hit E? Do I... I mean, I'm just clicking stuff repeatedly. Is this just clicking this? Why can't I just hold down the click? Okay, that's just repeatedly giving me stuff. Cool. So I don't even need to worry about it. So just more woodcutter's huts? I mean, I feel just like I'm just massively mashing click. Oh, what's this? Currently no building can be built here. I'm still pretty good on my money, but it costs so it costs like two more each time. Oh, I need three more woodcutters huts? Okay. Oh, I have to actually click them enough to finish them. This is weird. Have a good night, game enjoyer. Control roads by clicking the white dots or dragging over the road. Burn coin by selling resources to the town center. Okay, so yeah, this is a production thing. So this is my production lines. But how do I build a road? I have too many woodcutter's huts, so that's the only ones I can even have? Some buildings have upkeep costs visible at the top of the building window. Earn some coin to compensate for that by connecting your woodcutter's huts by your transmitter with the roads. Here's the problem. I have them all connected directly to my thing. Which wasn't the correct choice. But it means, okay, let's, yeah, let's sell that back up. If I just click a bunch of times, does it remove the wood? Do I just build a road here? How do I build my road? Oh, there we go. And then I build a, okay, I have logistics, I have general. Build a new woodcutter's hut. Um, how do I connect my road? Do I need the road to go the other way? Okay. We'll probably want to go farther out than that, but we'll worry about that in a hot minute. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually low on gold, finally. 
Okay, so we've unlocked a bunch of forests. We need to get our money to the top. Do I have anything useful in settings? Nope. How did I turn that one into a road? It's like I can sit here mashing click to get a ton of wood. Oh, I'm just amassing gold right now is all it is. The problem is I can't build extra woodcutter's huts. So I just, what, just massive click and eventually it is good? I mean, the biggest downside of this is it's going to destroy my left click button. Oh, not pause. Oh, that paused that one specifically. What's the point of, okay, the, the point of the roads is to connect from a distance. But I also, there's no reason right now while I'm sitting here, this is a ridiculous amount of money I have to add up. Oh, I can, I can drag that, that's cool. Respect that. Building overview, ruins. just so much. Why do I need 5,000 coins? Oh, oh, no. Leave that there. Leave that there. Okay. What's my minimize button for this? Eh, whatever. We'll leave that sitting where it is. I mean, if this is just left-click the game, then I'm disappointed. Our hats. Oh, that's wood. Oh no, that's not wood. What is workers? Two out of five workers. How do I get more workers? Yeah, it's a mobile game without the cooldown or MTX. What is MTX, Mika? But yeah, it's it's definitely a mobile game so far without cooldown. Except that it's not, it doesn't stockpile over time is the weird thing. So like I could just leave this thing running and it'll still do stuff or I can just mash the microtransactions. Okay, thank you. Nope, leave that, leave that there on the road. I mean, so I, okay, I can combine different pathways in here, but I can't construct another woodcutter's hut. So that's the sad thing right now is I if I could build more stuff I could speed this up. Like I'm still I'm still trying to farm a bazillion more coins. And I'm just sitting here going towards like 5,000 so many. 2,000 might have been fine. I mean, 1,000 th realistically would have been what it should have been. Oh, it's counting my total gold. You're right, Mika, you're right. It's because I bought almost all the land on the map I could see. Okay. No, if that was my mistake, that's fine. If, if we made some bad life choices here. Nothing wrong with making some bad life choices. I still don't have food yet. I still can't do anything with any of these other... I, mean, I can convert some of these into roads. Oop. Am I hitting here? I 
feel like all the ones around me want to be roads. I don't mind spending that money on those now. Can I? Ooh. Yeah, I can't do anything else fancy yet, but I can put everything into those. So I can at least I can at least set up some of my infrastructure while we sit here waiting. And I'll just take a sip of water because we're uh, we're chilling here. It's so interesting that it's showing my system time. It's it's funny that we played two games tonight where it's showing my system time. Just like in case you're wondering what time of day it is. Workers are needed for extra for buildings. Perfect. So I like to hear. Small houses can have up to four workers. Every tick they will make one more worker available as long as you have food. Without the food, the workers die. Transport raw food like vegetables from a farm to a food market. Vegetables will be processed to food, which is then available to all houses in a radius around the food market. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, we're gonna... Well done, now we have enough money to build a town and enough savings to keep your buildings running. I'm not as impressed as Harold. If I was leader of the expedition, I would have already left this annoying forest behind by now. You, uh, look... There's a lot of forest here, I bought enough of it to know. You would, that would have been impressive. Don't listen to him, we are improving steadily. That's right, I need you here at my side, Voito. It's obvious that you can't make the right decisions without me being here, my lord. Yes, you're right. Wait a moment, what did you say? It's time for medicine, my lord, that's what I said. Let's catch a far. Is that what we're doing here? He's just manipulating the king. Oh yes, the new tincture is very pleasant. That's not what Voito said, but let's focus on the mission. You should start placing buildings so some of the workers can live in the town. Okay, let's uh... How do I destroy this building? I want to remove this one. Or do I have to just go to a new one first? It was a destroyed building, right? V is... Oh, there we go. V. V got rid of it. Perfect. Build a road. Hopefully this will shoot stuff out in each direction. Maybe it doesn't. Interesting. So the only ways I can have... I can have things go two ways, it looks like. Oh, that's the reason why, because it's doing that. Um, we built a lot of stuff up here. Let's go ahead and build a... Ooh, no, that's not what I said. Not what I said. Not what I wanted. The... Okay, so I need a farm to supply to the food market. What's going on? This, I think, is where I want the food market to be. Needs to be supplied with vegetables or meals. Makes for available to houses in a radius of two. Why can't I massive click on this right now? Is the wood just giving me money? Do I have to... I know the building's under construction. How do I speed it up? Okay, where do I actually want the house? Might be the question. Uh, let's build a couple of... Woodcutter's hut there. Can only build one. 
Why did it... S okay, this meter's finally going again. Oh, that was my woodcutter's hut. I didn't want woodcutter's hut. I want my small... There we go. I want my small house. A food market must be close by. Sell that really quick. Let's try this again. I'm slightly confused. Okay, so I have to have a food market. We have to start with the farm. Can I build the farm? Serious questions here. Can I build actually build the farm? See, with all this confusion, we could have been doing this a lot faster. And is there any reason not to build the... I have enough... Co Hold on, what am I... I have too many of this building? What do you mean I have too many farms? I don't have any farms. I have one farm. Okay, I have my farm. Put my food market here. We'll turn this into a road that goes this way. Turn this into a road that goes that way. Turn this into a road that ultimately hooks back up with that. And then I need, what, workers? My problem here? Oh no, wrong button. Food market. Small house. No, not a small house. The road. I supply the food to the small house, right? Or is it supply the food to the house that's nearby? Makes food available to houses in a radius of two. So obviously I want to build another... Oh. I have to click the adjacent tiles. Which makes zero sense. Kind of makes sense. I need, I need some more small houses. Uh, make that another farm? Oh, I can't. I can only have one farm. Just make these a bunch of small houses then. I need what? One more small house? Okay, why why did those all build so quickly? Stories say there are some long forgotten ruins in the area. Explore land until you find a ruin. Uh considering I haven't found the ruin yet. Ooh. Was that just guaranteed to happen with my next, like, land that popped up? What is this? Didn't you say that no one's living in these lands, Vito? I said currently no one is living in Malmere, my lord. We shouldn't focus on this. Hey, fool, stop wasting our time and get out of this forest. Wait a minute, let's excavate these ruins. Maybe we find out why exactly no one is living here anymore. Why should this be of relevance for us? We just won't want the resources of this land. 
it's very relevant for us. If there's any danger, we might be able to take precautions in addition that we might be, find something useful inside, something valuable. Valuable, you say? Let's find out. If this is your wish, then we stay, my lord, but I think we are wasting our time. How do I excavate? I still don't understand why I'm clicking the adjacent tile. What else did this need to build? Maybe it's not that I need to click the adjacent tile precisely, but I need a road with a wood supply leading to what's being built. Which is still silly, but would make logical sense. You did it, I'm proud of you. Let's find out what's inside. Oh, look at the text written on the wall. The language somehow looks familiar to me. Is there anything of value inside? Doesn't look like it, let's move on. Wait, now I remember, this is the old language of the dwarves. We have some books about it in the library. Maybe we can translate the inscriptions. Ah, uh, yes, that's it. Yawin, home of the dwarves. Now this is very interesting. Why do you think so? Look at this, my lord. There are instructions on how to find, mine, and process tin and copper. This technology is so much more efficient than our methods are. That really is interesting, wouldn't you say, Voito? Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Let's just move on. I think we've achieved everything we need in this region. We should move on to the west. Okay, the tutorial mission just took me 20 minutes. Let's think about that for a second. The tutorial mission just took 20 minutes. Oh, man. And I still even understand how this game works. Even with the wiki. Like, that that's the sad thing is, like, the wiki... Maybe the wiki said something and I just didn't read it properly. We have dedicated missions where it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 total levels, it looks like. Moving on to the northwest, you leave the forest behind and discover extensive plains ahead. Together with Harold, you decide to look for some valuable metals, and you are lucky. These plains provide a lot of tin and copper. Let's go ahead and dive into this while I try to understand what the heck this is. This seems like a good spot. And you are saying there's a lot of tin and copper in this area? Yes, my lord. The descriptions in the ruins gave a good clue how to spot these metals. Well, I'm so excited. Our hard work is now finally seems to through. See, we're starting with 15,000 gold this time. There are large amounts of precious metals in these lands. The expedition is sure to turn a profit. Okay, we start small. Let's build a village here. We should focus on the workers. We need enough houses so everyone has a place to live. It is kind of cool, though, how the world ever is always... Actually, no. It, so if, if the world is ever expanding and it's it's randomized... It makes sense that that cave was just when we, uh... Am I just able to g gather copper this way? And metal? This obviously needs to be a road. Leading it back towards me. Okay, so I'm now gathering those resources. This is also a lot. We need 50 workers. Like, that's kind of a crazy amount. Okay, we can explore out to two... ...directions. Um, this needs to be a road now. Oh, I can't actually build in the ocean? Then how do I get to these minerals here? Can I even get to those minerals there? Okay, well, I want this to be a road. Is there an easier way to do this? Okay, there we go. That was that was the dragging bit that I was supposed to be doing before. Oop. Are you just gonna start going on the road? Okay, I can click on things to mine them myself. Or I can build the buildings to mine for me. Seems to be the idea.
So like right here, I can build a road on this. I can pull all those in. I... Can we get this to actually... Okay, this is slightly awkward. I can't just drag on these ones. I have to actually build specifically. Okay, so now I have a wood cutter. I still need a farm. I just need a proper farm, though. I just keep on seeing all these minerals, and I'm just like, oh, we're gonna keep building minerals. That's not the most efficient way to do that, but it uh, works. Is there actually a spot that makes any sense for me to put any of the farmers? Okay, so I can build out two squares from a farm. Oh, no, from a flea market. So go ahead and... Yeah, put our flea market there. And I can feed to a small house, but I need... What, a couple of farms feeding into that? On the upside, I'm starting to figure this out a tiny bit. I don't know why it's not letting me drag through forests. Like, that's really... Maybe it's because you're supposed to, like, keep your forest, kind of, is... part of the idea. I really... I, I don't... This game is slightly bizarre because there was some obvious thought put into it, yet it still makes no sense. Okay, so like this one I can build a farm. This one I can't, so I need... In order to actually get my... Okay, whatever. We need, we need the houses. Oh, where did I just build a house? No, delete. Don't want a house out there. So can I just build a house on there? And I'm just going to click on the edges and stuff because apparently that's what we do here. And then build a house there. Oh, and it can actually pop the wood over across from one adjacent thing to another. Kind of. I think. I do this and just get the wood passed over. No, I can't. Currently no building to be built on. That's an ocean. So can I actually build this house or not? I'm guessing I can't. Let's build a food market over here. We're well, not a food market. I want a farm. Mm -hmm. 
be a farm on that spot. Build a farm on... No, I can't. You know, I'm bored. And that's the long and short of this game. I'm spending more time trying to figure out and understand how the game works. Where was my, where's the wiki? Question mark is the wiki. Quick actions, controls. Place buildings on the tile. Construct buildings by sending the local needed resources. So that's, that's why I can click on the wood next to it. That's the mobile aspect of just being able to click something. You can drag. What's the point of that loop-de-loop -loop in this? The, the point of that loop-de-loop -loop is to show that you can move things in whichever direction along the road. And it's like a 50-50 shot of it going either way, which is what you need in this kind of a game. And then you sell stuff for money, and then you have workers. I haven't even gotten past the worker stage, and I'm bored of this game. That is a sad, sad sign. Pass on Malmir. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're enjoying what we are doing here, please like, comment, and subscribe for more indie game content. Feel free to check us out live on Twitch, where for a game like this, there just wasn't a lot to say. I will see you next time.